Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to set up the Docker. So what actually the Docker is? So Docker is an open platform for developing, shipping and running applications. So basically Docker is an engine that will provide the runtime for the application. So what thing run on Docker? So there is something called Docker containers and Docker containers holds the containerized applications. So how it look like? I will show the pictorial representation. So you will see it over here. We are having a infrastructure on top of it. We are having the host operating system and on top of host operating system, we are having the dockers and then we are having the containerized application which holds the required application that your application needed. So basically I can say that a container is a standard unit of software that package up code and all its dependency so that application runs quickly and reliably from one computing environment to another computing environment. So now you must be asking that what kind of benefit it is giving us. So if you remember that in our earlier session we have followed many of the steps to set up our SPFX development environment. In the step contains installation of the Node.js, installation of the Yo, installation of the Gulp, installation of the SPFX and many more. And if you remember that SPFX has many versions. So suppose a scenario if you are working in one of the version called 1.14 and suddenly you need to give a support for the SPFX web part which is based on 1.12. So what you need to do? You need to set up again for working on version 1.12? No. So we must need a way by which we can easily switch from the SPFX version and that way is provided by the Docker setup. So what we will do in this session, we will set up the Docker and then we can use the community Docker container that is already being in place I will show that where we are having those information and we will grab that configuration file and that we will use inside our upcoming exercises so let's install docker first so to install the docker we need to download it so to download docker we need to go to google and write docker download click on first link and this will give us the docker desktop for windows you need to click on this it will give you the exe you need to run the exe i have already done the setup you will perform the same it will install the docker within your system so now it is downloaded you will open it so now i have opened it and you will see that it is asking me to upgrade it so let's upgrade it yes earlier i was having version 4.7 now it is installing 4.8 for your case, it is going to install the new one. You don't need to upgrade it. So it is taking time. So I'm going to pause this video. And once it is being done, then I will come back. Now my Docker installation is being completed. Click on close. Now my Docker is ready. Now my next step, I will go to the community of SPFX. And from where I will grab the configuration for the Docker container. And that we will use for all our exercises. So let's do it. So I will open the community site by using this aka.ms-m365pnp into so this will open the community site. So over here we will get the samples and solution. So guys if you want to learn anything about M365 whether it is Microsoft Teams whether it is SPFX I would recommend that you must have to follow this community site. That is very very useful for learning anything in Microsoft 365 platform. So I will go over here and select the samples and solutions. And over here you will get many of the solutions for different different products. I am interested in SharePoint Framework web parts. And you will see it over here. Many of the samples over here. So what I will do. I will come here and select this three dots and go down. And here I will click on by SPFX version and you will see that we have samples available for all the versions but I am not interested into that. I am interested into the docker container file. So I will go any of them and here I will get the list of the solution. For example, if I will go to the news banners, so it will take me to this git repository and over here I will find that there is a folder called .dev container and this is the thing I am interested in. So basically I am interested in this spfx startup.sh. So this is the shell script which is written by this person that is Hugo Bernier and what it do 
it will give us the container for SPFX to respective version. So that means suppose if you are working for version 1.12, SPFX version 1.12, we can go to that particular example and we can grab that SH. For our case, I am going to grab this SPFX startup.sh and that I will use it. I am going to grab this and put inside our exercise folder. So let's do it. So how I will do it? I will copy the name of this and create a folder inside our exercise folder. So I am into my exercise folder and over here I will create a new folder or dev container and this will contain the that sh file so let's create it i will tell that new file and i will call that spfx hyphen startup sh into now it is giving us that it is going to change the format so i will click it yes and i will now right click on it and i will edit it open with choose other app and here i will choose notepad and then i will copy the code now i will Come over here and I will go to the raw control A, control C and then I will go and paste it in our file. I am into my file and I will paste it over here, control S. Now I have saved it. Now next file we need to copy the dev container dot json which is this file i will go back there is dev container dot json so let me grab this one as well so i will go to raw copy it and you will see that it is giving us the configuration information about the spfx runtime let's go to our folder and right click click on text document and i will call it as dev container dot json into yes now open it and i will paste it over here now i will save it so now our dev environment is ready with docker so guys you will see it over here this is giving us the runtime spfx 1.4.1 but we want 1.14 as well as 1.12 so we will repeat the same thing what we have done for this for enabling the runtime for spfx 1.12 as well as 1.14 so let me prepare that to do the preparation what i will do i will come over here create a folder i will call it as this is for runtime 1.4 and i will put this dev container inside this and I will come over here and I will call it as I want runtime 1.12 as well as I want SPFX runtime runtime 1.14. So that means multiple runtime we can set up with the help of Docker. So now I will set up runtime 1.12. So to do that, I will paste that folder and I will change the configuration information. And the configuration I will grab it from the community site. So let me go there. So I am inside the community site and this time I am going to set up runtime for 1.12. I will come over here and select 1.12 and then I will select any of the sample. It will take me to the GitHub repository and from the GitHub repository, I will go inside the dev container and I will go inside the sh file and then I will go to the raw and I will copy this and then I will go back to my sh file. I need to set up runtime 1.12. I will open this file, right click, open with Visual Studio Code, then I will replace it with 1.12 runtime now i will save it and close this file next i will repeat the same for the json file so let's do it now i am into the github repository and i will go to the dev container dot json i will go to raw and copy the configuration information about this runtime now i will go to the visual studio code to update my json file so i will open this file with visual studio code and i will replace it with this code so now you will see it over here we are having spfx 1.12.1 so this will give us the runtime for this particular version of spfx so let's verify it prior to that you have to save it so how you will verify this let's look into that so to verify this i need to go inside the respective runtime folder and then i will open this into visual studio code so let's do it i will come over here and i will choose open with code once you do this and you will get this option reopen in container once you open this in the container then the runtime for that particular spfx gets executed so you will see that it is executing that particular dev container where spfx 1.12 is being installed i will show you the entire configuration detail for the spfx 1.12 runtime if you remember that for working with spfx 
topics what are the important requisites are node.js yo gulp and if you remember our compatibility chart i will show you right now if you remember this chart we are having for spfx version 1.12 we must have the node.js lts version 10 lts version 12 or lts version 14 along with that we must have npm version v5 so once our dev container get started i will show you what kind of versions it has for spfx 1.12 so guys now my dev container is started now let's verify that what kind of spfx and node.js it has so let's do it go to terminal new terminal first of all you will see that this kind of a prompt is coming in so that means we are into the dev container which is running on the linux box so to verify we need to write npm list minus g minus minus step equal to zero you will see that what kind of spfx version it has it has 1.12.1 which gulp it has it has version 4.0.2 and yo 4.1.0 now check what node we have installed over here let's write node minus minus version and you will see that it has version 14.17 and if you remember we have installed version 14.19 now here if you will check what npm it has npm minus v you will see that it has npm 6.14.13 now this is the runtime for spfx version 1.12 now let's verify what kind of u node is as well as npm we have for version 1.4 so let's look into that so how we will look into that again we need to go back to the folder so we are into the folder i will go inside the runtime 1.4 and i will come over here so more open with code select reopen in container so that it will open the runtime dev container for version 1.4 of spfx and that is what it is doing so now it has started that dev container it is throwing some error so we don't have to bother about it so let's close it and i will come over here and i will go to terminal new terminal and over here i will run the same command which we have ran earlier npm list minus g minus minus dev equal to zero into you will see that which version of spfx it has this container has 1.4.1 and what kind of gulp it has it is 3.9 and if you remember in spfx version 1.12 what kind of gulp we have let's see look into that let's look into that so we are having gulp 4.0.2 and u 4.1.0 and over here we are having u version 2.0 now let's verify which node version it has node minus minus version you will see that it contains version 8.9.4 and which npm it has npm minus v and it has npm version 5.6.0 so you can see that how easily you can switch between different version with the help of dockerization concept and for our entire exercise we are going to use this docker setup to do our complete exercises in spfx and i would recommend that you have to follow the same standard whenever you are working for any of the spfx project it is very easy to create the development environment and you can easily spin off how many number of spfx environment you want and for the different different versions so you don't have to worry about how i can manage different spfx versions of projects so on this note i'm going to stop over here from the next session onwards we are going to start our practical exercise to learn about spfx and i'm going to use the spfx docker container for our entire exercises so on this note i'm stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care